So using swagers, you have two different types of setups you can do on your swager. Um, one is just regular swaging and the other is through swaging. Um, generally when you're regular swaging or, or swaging the end of one of your products, um, you're going a certain distance and then retracting that from the machine. So an example is you need to, you, you need to swage 12 inches of one end of a tube. You're going to swage that 12 inches and then, and then you're going to retract it so only that 12 inches is swaged on that product. Um, you'll physically see that transition from the smaller outer diameter to the larger outer diameter and then, and then that transition piece in the middle. When you're through swaging, you're physically re or, uh, reducing the whole length of the, the product that you're swaging. Um, so you would insert the product in the front of the swager and it would come out the back side of the swager and the whole bar would be swaged. So if you're starting, for instance, with a one inch bar and you're trying to swage it down to 900 thousandths of an inch, um, you would, you would insert in the beginning of the, in the front of the machine and then the whole bar is going to end up at the 900 thousandths of an inch um, by the time you through swage it through the machine.